This week marked 40 years since Apple first launched the Mac. The revolutionary computer helped pave the way for the iPod and iPhone and for Apple to become the world's biggest and most valuable company. WCCO's Alan Henry spoke to a local father and son who were there on day one and are looking forward to what the days ahead bring. Today, for the first time ever, I'd like to let Macintosh speak for itself. It's hard to think of a computer without a mouse, but a pointing device for a screen was one of the innovations of the first Macintosh. We purchased an Apple uh, at a store in Uptown. 40 years ago, Fred Falk took his son Jeremy to buy the first Mac in Minneapolis. The starting price in 1984, $2,495, or about seven grand adjusted for inflation. It felt like it was expensive, but it felt important to be there at that time as technology it was taking off. From the moment I was introduced to this, these products that Apple was making, I was immediately enamored and totally engaged. We spoke to Jeremy from California, where he's known as the Mac Man, helping to fix Apple computers of all shapes, sizes, and ages. His original Mac, still operational on his shelf. I look at it and it, it, it seems to have such care involved and such design thought and such engineering. And it, um, and it really continues to blow me away. As the company prepares to introduce its cutting edge Vision Pro headset to the masses next week, Fred and Jeremy are looking forward to the next 40 years. The vision at Apple and the technology that is evolving is going to take us to a place that is hard to imagine. I am grateful for this company and what they've brought to the world and how it's, it's helped to uh, seemingly connect us in a positive way and giving me a purpose uh, and a long career that is not over. Alan Henry, WCCO News. The Vision Pro headset will be released Friday. Its starting price, more expensive than the original Mac at $3,500.